What's up YouTubers? This is Chris Thompson, Chris Thompson Photography again. Um, I'm here with a new product that I just kind of fell into. Um, I was looking for a cheaper option, something that was LED, um, so I could be quick in and out of productions rather than waiting for my tungsten lights to cool down. This is the Photodeox Pop Spot. Um, and this thing is awesome. I was uh, kind of like skeptical at first, kind of thinking, oh, it's only, you know, a couple hundred bucks and it looks kind of cheap. Um, but also I've used some of their other products, mainly the lighting modifiers. Um, and I've been really happy with the light. It's really small, you know, uh, what is it? Eight, 10 inches long or, or, or less. I'm guessing that's, you know, maybe eight inches. Um, but it's got this little plug here, similar to a little spring lock system. So you plug it in. Um, you do use kind of a brick thing, but they give you plenty of cord uh, to power it from from the floor and then you can use the extension cord if you need to go 50 feet um, But it's plenty of cord to go the length of height of a stand um, It's got a simple on-off switch in the back and then you've got a, a Dimming dial also in the back and it goes from 100% down to 10% um, When I ordered I thought it went to zero and after using it I'm not upset that it doesn't go down to zero at 10% that's uh, not super bright, but it's bright enough if you needed to, you know, add some tone to a wall or anything like that. Um, you know, you can see in the background here right now, I believe we're shooting at uh, F4 ISO 1600 at 1 50th of a second on the C100. Um, that's primary, my primary camera, so I don't need a whole lot of light because of the native ISO of 850. Um, but you can see this light is pretty, you know, it's pretty bright. Um, for those of you that are curious, here's a color chart uh, right here. Um, color seems pretty accurate for me. Um, I'm pretty critical on color. I did retouching for five years. I still do it to this day. Um, and usually you can kind of see a green or a blue tint, um, sometimes in yellow to the, the LED system. And I don't necessarily see that on this light itself. Um, I've got three or four other LED systems that I can see the definite green but this lights great it's um, I used it on a, on a portrait set or a video set interview the other day and you know I, I dialed it down um, I thought it was 50% but it turns out I had it down at 25% and it was just enough at 56 um, ISO 850 that I could get enough kick from the back um, just to edge light somebody like you know like this if I wanted to edge light them um, you know, it's got this little neat tungsten gel, uh, which is great because I still have tungsten lighting. I don't have all daylight LED lighting. You know how it's expensive and um, small productions. You, you just got to work with what you have and be efficient. So I'm glad it came with that. It's, it's actually pretty significantly like beefy system. So it's thick. Um, it also comes with these barn doors here. As I get them off here, yeah, barn doors I believe are plastic, from what I can tell, and not a huge thing. It doesn't put off a lot of heat. Um, most of the heat is in the back end of the unit, towards you know the output. The exhaust is right here, and the input is around here. And those are the heat sink. Inside there's heat sink uh, the fins that you can see, um, but it does have this zoom ring here. I'll put the barn doors and the gel back in. So we're in a color spec. So it's got this, this uh, ring right here to rotate. And it, it describes it as a Fresnel, but I, it's a little stiff. And this is a newer system, but you know, stiffer than I would hope. Not that I'm gonna be using it a lot. To be honest, um, I wouldn't compare it to a data light. It's not a, a true, it's not a, you know, really nice system like the data light. The data light is one of the best lights I've ever used. Um, it's not even comparable to the Aerie because if you watch me try and cut an edge with this, I'll turn this key off so you can see. But if you list, if you can see, it's not getting a true edge to, uh, you know, cut that. So if I was to cut an edge with an Aerie or a data light it would be a lot crisper um, this one is kind of soft and even with that 
it's between the two different zoom ranges. I'll show you the zooms. So that's tight down right there. And if I go wide out, it takes me a little bit. It's not that wide, um, you know, so it's a, it's a great light. But, you know, it's not comparable to a data light. I'm still going to keep my data lights, but these are going to be the running gun in and out. Um, use them on weddings, use them on events, uh, you know, backlighting scenes really quickly so I don't have to worry about things cooling down. I won't have to worry about a tungsten bulb breaking because I moved a light or I bumped it wrong. Um, I've had that happen three times where I was like, yeah, I bumped it and then it's dead the next time I turn it on. Um, you know, so it'll save me that cost, that time. Um, it's a great little light. It does have a little bit of a fan. You can hear it as I get it close to the mic. It'll probably be really loud um, right now. But in interview situations, I can't tell if, you're, if you can hear it right now, um, to be honest. But in interview situations, if I has a, a kicker in the back where it's 5, 10 feet away, I don't have any issues. None whatsoever. I can hear the clock before I can hear that fan. So those of you that are concerned about the fan, I wouldn't worry about it. Um, if you're using an interview or even maybe even main light, I personally wouldn't use it as a main light. I'd use it more as a kicker and an accent light, and I'd use a, a panel as a main light. I think that's what this was designed for as a kicker and an accent light rather than a main. Um, so yeah, feel free to leave me comments, um, suggestions. Let me know if you have any questions about that light. Um, you know, it's the pop spot from PhotoDiox. I've been super happy with it. I'm not returning it. It comes with a case. Uh, you know, a little, some people make a big deal about the cases and yeah, it, it, for certain projects for like this light, it makes a difference. Um, it's orange. It's probably not over, overbuilt for what it is. So it's got this kind of top flap that flips open. And then inside of that, you have the secondary flap and that kind of locks the light in and then you've got spots and I usually put the light in here and the power supply here and on occasion I'll put like gels or whatever diffusion in this little pocket in the middle and you can re reposition these so super flexible but yeah comments and questions below again Chris Thompson photography and that's the pop spot super happy I got it thank you